여러분 안녕하십니까? Hello everyone. 어, 우리 이제 마가하고 좀 친해야겠습니다. I think we're going to have to become close <웃음> 어, with Mark. 더 우리가 마가 가까이 가서 If we can get closer to Mark. 마가 이거를 쓸때 어떤 마음으로 썼는지. And what heart Mark had when he wrote these words. 또 하나님 마가를 통해 우리에게 하나님 마음 어떻게 표현을 그걸 좀더 알면. And if we get to know the heart of God that He is expressing through the Gospel of Mark. 아는 것입니다. It will be such a blessing for 어, us. 우리 지난 시간에 그 짝이 있다는 이야기를 했죠. The last time we talked about how there are mates. 이거 그 짝이란 게 굉장히 중요한 게 뭐냐면. The important thing about mates is that. 사람이 남자 여자가 있는 남자만으로 안 되고 여자만으로도 안 됩니다. You know, there are men and women, and by man Man alone, it will not do. By woman alone, it will not do. 그래서 이제 하나님이 사람 만드실 때. So that's when God made humans. 살아서 이제 자라가면 여자를 보면 예뻐 보이고 사랑스러워 보이게 됩니다. And when they grow up, the man he feels love towards a woman. 그래서 이제 결혼해 사는 거죠. And then man and woman they get married and they live together. 그 사랑하는 마음이 아니라면 여자하고 누가 살겠어요? And without that heart of love, how could they live together? 뭐 남자가 요리 못 해서 여자하고 사는 건 아니잖아요. No, it's not that men just want to live with women because they want to cook or something. 한국 인류 요리사 남자가 많습니다. No, I heard there's a lot of, in Korea there's a lot of famous men chefs. 근데 둘이 짝을 이룰 때 Anyways, when men and women come together to become mates. 애기를 낳고 they are able to have child. 막 귀엽고 사랑스럽고 and the baby is cute and lovely and precious. 남자가 여자를 사랑하는 마음이 생긴 것처럼 and just as man has the heart to love the woman 애기를 낳으면 애기가 그렇게 사랑스럽죠. No, when they have the baby, the baby so lovely. 전제 아내가 저와 결혼해 잘한 게 여러 가지가 있지만 after my wife married me, she did many things well. 제일 잘한 게 딸하고 아들 낳아준 것만큼 좋은 게 없습니다. But the best thing she did was she had my son and my daughter. 아, 제 아들이 제 딸이 자라서 이렇게 하나님을 숨기로 만 너무 아름답고 And when I see how my son and daughter they have grown up 거지요. and they are serving God, I'm so thankful. 그래서 짝이 있어야 성경도 이건 하나님이 사람처럼 성경에게 성경 하나 사람이 하는 이야기이기 때문에. And in the scriptures, there's also mates, and God is speaking the scriptures to us, man. 어떤 성경 읽었는데 아 전혀 이해 못하고 읽어 다음에 짝을 만나질 때 그때 아 좋다. Some scriptures you read, you don't understand what this is saying, but once you find its mate, ah, that's what this is about. 그 나도 그냥 태어나서 뭐 살았는데. And I too, I was just born and I lived my life. 결혼할 때좀내 아들 만나니까 사랑스럽고 좋고 결혼이 즐거 그렇게 되는 겁니다. But and after I grew up, I married my wife. She was so lovely. I loved. Her, it was great. 인간도 그런 거 성경도 인간을 위한 책이기 때문에. In the same way, the Bible is also a book for us. 이해가 잘안갈 때. When you don't understand it. 짝을 만나면. Once you find the mate. 정확하게 이해가는 거예요. You understand it clearly. 우리 전 시간에 무슨 얘기를 했냐면은. In the previous session we talked about. 속죄 제사를 드릴 때에. When you give the sin offering. 양이나 염소를 잡아 제사를 드려 속죄 제사를 합니다. You kill the lamb or the goat to give as the sin offering. 근데 어떤 날 자기 죄를 지고 죄를 깨달은 뒤에는. When a person has sinned, then the sin that he has committed comes to his knowledge. 양이나 염소를 데리고 와서. He has to bring over a lamb or a goat. 그냥 잡는 게 아니고. And then not just kill it. 제사장 머리 안수를 한다는 거죠. But he must first do the laying on of hands upon the head of the lamb. 안수 왜 해야? Why the laying on of hands? 제가 그 양이나 염소에 넘 건너가는 거예요. Through that, the sin is placed upon the lamb or the goat. 양이나 염소를 안수를 하지 않고 그냥 잡으면 제가 안 사해집니다. If you kill the lamb without the laying on of hands, it cannot forgive your sins. 반드시 죄를 넘길 그 안수가 필요하다는 거죠. Therefore, it is necessary to do the laying on of hands to place the sin on the lamb. 마가복음 1장 9절에 In Mark chapter 1 verse 9. 1장 9절까지는 세례 요한에 관한 이야기, 예수님 이야기가 안 나옵니다. In Mark chapter 1 verses 1 through 9, he talks about John the Baptist. It doesn't talk about Jesus. 그런데 이제 세례 요한이 요단강에서 회개의 세례를 베풀. And John the Baptist was giving the baptism of repentance at River Jordan. 그런데 회 광야에서 회개 세례를 전파니. And in the wilderness, he preached the repent, baptism of repentance. Yeah, 그러니까 회개 세례는 누가 아니 죄인이 하는 겁니다. And so, who does the baptism of repentance? The sinner does it. 내가 죄를 뉘우치고 when you realize your sin, 세례를 받습니다. And receive the baptism. 근데 이제 세례요 아니 세례를 죄를 뉘우치고 깨달은 사람들에게 회개를 해서 세례를 베풀어 자기 죄를 회개하도록 하는 거죠. And so, those who realize their sins, John baptized them so that they may receive the repentance. 근데 회개하고 But even though you repent and get baptized, that does not forgive your sins. 죄를 깨닫는 거고 하는 거죠. You know you realize your sin through that. 그런데 이제 어느 날 요단강에서 요한이 막 외치고 회개하라 독사의 자식들아. And one day John was preaching at River Jordan, repent, you brood of vipers. 누가 너희를 
그 who told you to hide from the nearing world? And bring forth fruits fit for repentance. 그때 이제 예수님이 오십니다. And right then Jesus comes. 예수님 나타나셔서 Jesus appears. 세례를 받으시려고 합니다. And he wants to be baptized. 세례 뭐 어, 이분은 하나님한테 그리스도신데 예수님이 내가 아, 내가 당신의 세례 당신 내게로 오십니까? And John recognizes, "Oh, Jesus, you're the son of God, you're the Christ. I should be baptized of thee. Come thou to me." 예수님 뭐라고 말씀하셨습니까? And then what did Jesus say? 이제 가라 가라. Suffer it to be so now. 이와 같이 모든 의를 이루는 것이 합당하니. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. 아, 의를 이룬다. Fulfill all righteousness. 우리는 죄가 있으면 의가 없는데. We have sins. We don't have righteousness. 하나님 우리에게 의를 주시기 위하여. But for God to give us righteousness. 예수 의를 이루어야 한다는 거죠. Jesus needs to fulfill all righteousness. 의를 이루기 위해서는. In order to fulfill righteousness. 죄를 벗어야 한다. He has to get rid of our sins. He has to take care of sins. 자 요한이 예수 요한에게 세례 받는데 어떻게 죄를 이루는 사는 일을 합니까? So how does Jesus being baptized John work out in the process of getting our sins forgiven? 그 이건 그냥 보면 이해 안 가는데. When we just look at this, we don't understand. 레위 사장에 보면은. But in Leviticus chapter four. 이제 이십구 절에. 그 속죄제 희생의 머리 안수하고 하는 이야기가 나오죠. In verse 29 it talks about doing the laying on of hands upon the head of the sin offering. 그 안수하는 게왜 안수한 잘 몰랐는데. I did not know why they did the laying on of hands. 지난 시간에 우리가 예레미 16장 21절에. No, like I talked about last time in Leviticus 16 verse 21. 아론은 두손 염소의 머리 안수하여. And Aaron shall lay both his hands upon the head of the live goat. 이스라엘 자손들의 모든 불의와 그 범한 죄를 고하고. And confess over him all the iniquities of the children of Israel and all the 죄를 염소의 머리에 두어. Putting them up upon the head of the goat. 그러니까 이제 아론이 두 손으로 산 염소의 머리 안수하는 것은. Aaron doing the laying on of hands upon the live goat. 우리 죄를 위해 죽어야 할 양이나 염소 머리에 죄를 넘기는 일을 한다는 거예요. Is to place our sins upon the head of the lamb or the goat which will die for your sin. 전 레위기 사제 속죄 제사에 대한 이야기를 읽을 때. When I read about the sin offering in Leviticus chapter four. 왜 양이나 염소 머리 안수한 잘 몰랐습니다. I did not know why they did the laying out of hands on the lamb or the goat. 그런데 레위 16장 21절을 읽을 때. But when I read chapter sixteen verse twenty one. 아 내가 죄를 안수함으로 죄가 염색이 건너가는구나 그 사실을 정확하게 알 수가 있었어. I was able to clearly know that through the laying on of hands, the sin is placed upon the lamb or the goat. 그래서 이제 예수님이 세례를 안수를 받는데. So Jesus receives baptism from John. 예수님은 죄를 범했기 때문에 죄에 대한 안수를 받는다. 그 말이 안 됩니다. Because Jesus committed a sin, that's why he's doing the he's receiving the laying on of hands. No, that's not what that means. 예수님의 세례를 받는 건 죄를 회개하는 세례가 아닙니다. Jesus being baptized, it's not a repentance for sin. 우리 인간의 죄를 용서하기 위하여. But for the forgiveness of our sins. 죄를 넘겨받고. So that our sins may be placed on Him. 죄의 값으로 죽어야 하기 때문에. And He has to die for our sins. 그래 이제 이렇게 해야 모든 의를 이루는 게 합당하다. This must be done to fulfill all righteousness. 예수님이 요한에 그렇게 말했어. That's what Jesus says to John. 아 그때 이제 요한은 깨닫습니다. Right then John realizes, oh, 이분 하나님의 아들 예수님이신데. He is son of God. 우리 죄를 위하여 십자에 못 박혀 죽기 전에. And before he is crucified for our sins. 구약 시대 양이 제물이 되기 전에. Before the offering in the Old Testament becomes the offering. 안수를 제가 넘어가서 모든 죄를 사하는 것처럼. They do the laying of hands upon the sacrificial lamb to place the sin on it. 예수님 우리 죄를 위해 죽으심을 전에 죄가 예수님께 넘겨 그 예시란 걸 알았어요. In the same way, the sins must be placed upon Jesus before He dies for our sins. That's what John realized. 그래서 이제 요한이 허락합니다. So John allows it. 예수님이 저 세례 요한 예수님 머리에 안수라며 세례. John he gives the baptism and does the laying on of hands on the head of Jesus. 그 안수는 죄인이 회개한 안수가 아니라. This is not the laying on of hands for a sinner to repent. 구약의 속죄 제물인 어린 양이 우리 죄를 지기 위하여. 안수라면 죄를 넘겨 받는 것처럼. But in the Old Testament, for the sacrificial lamb to carry our sins, you have to do the laying on of the hands upon it for the sins to be placed upon it. 우리의 모든 예수님께 건너 넘기는 그 안수가 바로 예수님 받으신 
세례입니다. Likewise, the laying on of hands to place all of sins of mankind upon Jesus is the baptism that Jesus received. 그 이야기가 마태복음, 마가복음, 누가복음, 요한복음 이렇게 나오는데. And so that is talked about in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. 그 우리가 성경에서 자세히 보면 그렇게 되어 있습니다. And when we read the Bible closely, we can see this. 요한복음 1장 29절에. In John chapter 1, verse 29. 이튿날 어제 예수님 세례, 요한이 세례를 받으시고. The next day, the day before, Jesus was baptized by John. 예수 이튿날 또 and the next day, Jesus came to River Jordan again. John saw him, and what did he say? He didn't say it the day before. But the next day, John sees him and says, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. All of our sins have been placed upon Jesus. 그래 이제 우리의 모든 죄가 예수님 건너갔습니다. All of our sins are placed upon Jesus. 예수님 말씀하셨습니다. And Jesus said, 내가 당신 세례를 받아 당신 내게로 오시나이까? Oh, John said to Jesus, I need to be baptized of thee. Comest thou to me? 예수님 말씀하십니다. Jesus answered him, 이제 허락하라. Suffer it to be so now. 우리가 이와 같이 모든 의를 이루는 것이 합당. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. 모든 의를 이루다 모든 죄를 사하는 것인데. Fulfill all righteousness. This meaning, forgiving all sins. 그때 요한 이 사실을 깨닫고 예수님에게 세례를 베풉니다. Right then, John realizes this and gives the baptism to Jesus. 그 성령이 비둘같이 임하고. And the Holy Spirit came upon him like a dove. 하나님이 말씀하십니다. And God says, 이는 내 사랑하는 아들이요 내 기뻐하는 자라고 말씀. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. 왜요? Why? 예수 십자가 못 받고 통스럽지만은. Jesus is going to be crucified. It's going to be painful. 하나님 말씀 순종하기 위하여. But to obey the word of God. 십자가 못 받기기 위하여 죄를 넘겨 받는 과정을 보고. He saw the process of Jesus receiving the sin so that he was crucified. 내 사랑한 아들이는 자라고 말했어. That's why God says, "Be my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased." 그리고 이제 요한복음 일장 이십구에 보라 세상 죄를 지원 하나님 어린 양이라. And then in John chapter one verse twenty nine, "Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world." 예수님이 세례 세례 받은 것은. So Jesus. Received the baptism from John the Baptist. 세례관 원래 베푸는 그 회개의 세례가 아니었습니다. It was not the baptism of repentance that John had been given. 예수 죄가 없기 때문에 회개할 필요가 없고. Jesus has no sin. He does not need to repent. 저주를 받아야 할 필요가 없었습니다. There is no need for him to be cursed. 그런데 이제 우리 죄를 넘겨 받는 과정에서. But it was the process of Jesus receiving all our sins. 그날 우리의 모든 죄가 예수 그리스도께로. That day, all of our sins were laid upon Jesus. 성경 요한복음 마가복음 1장 10절에 in Bible Mark chapter 1 verse 10. 구절부터 보면은 from verse 9. 그때 예수 갈릴리에서 나사렛으로부터 와서 요단강에서 요한에게 세례를 받으시고. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth to of Galilee and was baptized of John in Jordan. 예수님이 그냥 이 세상에 33년 동안 사셨는데 Jesus lived on this earth for 33 years. 갈릴리에서 나사렛에서 예수님은 서른 살까지 거의 아무 일하지 않고 계셨습니다. And for 30 years Jesus lived in Nazareth of Galilee without doing any work. 목수의 아들로 목수 일을 했는지 모릅니다. Maybe he worked as a carpenter as the son of a carpenter. 그때 나와서 이제 하나님이 하기 시작할 때 제일 먼저 나사렛에서부터 요단 요한에게 세례를 받으셨어요. But when he did the work of God, the first thing he did was to receive baptism from John the Baptist in Jordan. 그때 이제 우리의 모든 죄가 예수를 건너 왔고, right then, all of our sins were laid upon Jesus. 이제 그때부터 예수 십자가를 향하여 걸어가기 시작하셨어요. And from then on, Jesus began to step towards the cross. 하늘에서 음성이 들리기를. There was a voice from heaven saying, 이는 내 사랑하는 아들을 내가 기뻐하는 자라고 말씀하셨어요. Thou art my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. 이제부터 예수님은 우리 인류의 죄를 사는 그 일을 세태어 나셔서. 서른 살될 때까지 그냥 계시다가. Jesus from his birth to the age of thirty, he did not do any work, and then after that. 서른 살쯤 되셨을 때. When he was around thirty years old. 이제 나오셔서 갈릴리에서 나와서 요단 요한에게 세례를 받으시고. He came to a Galilee of Nazareth of Galilee, came to Jordan to be baptized by John. 그리고 보라 세상 죄를 지원 하나님 어린 양이로다. And behold, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. 그런데 그 죄를 지시고. So he carried our sins. 이제 제자들 모으시고. And gathered the disciples. 이제 성경을 가르치시고. And taught the Bible. 십자가에 못 박혀 죽으실 때까지. And until he was crucified. 그 땅에 계시다 십자가에 못 박혀 돌아가신 것이. He was on the earth and then he was crucified. 그 예수 십자가에 못 박혀 죽어서 부활하셨을 때에. When Jesus was crucified. And then resurrected. Roman chapter 20, 
5절에 In Romans chapter 4 verse 25. 예수는 우리 범죄함을 위하여 내어주미 되고. Jesus was delivered for our offenses. 또한 우리 어렵다심을 살아나심. And was raised again for our justification. 예수님이 우리의 범죄를 위해서 십자가에 못 박히셨습니다. Jesus was crucified for our offenses. 그래서 우리 죄가 예수님께 넘겨졌기 때문에. And because our sins have been laid upon Jesus. 십자가에 못 박혀 죽으시고 he was crucified on the cross. 부활하셨을 때. And when he resurrected, 이 죄값을 다 받았기 때문에. Already he received all the punishment for sin. 우리를 깨끗게 했다는 것입니다. He has made us clean. 어렵게 하셨다는. He has made us righteous. 예수 우리 죄를 위하여 내어 주미 되고 범죄함을 내어 주미 되고. Jesus was delivered for our offenses. 우리를 어렵다 하심을 위하여 살아나셨다. And was raised again for our justification. 근데 여러분 참 많은 사람은 예수님 믿지만 And so many people today even though they believe in Jesus. 예수님 우리 죄를 시대에 못 봐야 죽었다고 이론으로 알지만 And they know the knowledge that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. 요새는 죄인이라고 합니다. But still they say they're sinners. And they ask for their sins to be forgiven. It's been more than 2,000 years since Jesus died on the cross. Are they saying that still Jesus did not forgive our sins? No. He did forgive them. One time a university chancellor came to see me. He called me on the phone. Pastor, for me to get to where you are, it's an eight-hour drive. But I really want to meet you, Pastor. And I'm about to leave now. But Pastor, I don't know if you have time. But if I get there in eight hours, Pastor, would you meet with me? He asked. I said, sure, come. He drove eight hours to get to me. And I wanted to tell him about the love of Jesus. And I told him to read Romans chapter 3, verse 23. He says, oh yes, I know these words. He says, we're all sinners. And I told him to read verse 24. He read it. I asked him, so what does verse 24 say? He says, if we repent hard, our sins will be washed away. If we pray hard and work hard, our sins will be forgiven, he said. But here, what does it say in the scripture? It does not say that we are justified through our praying. It does not say we are being we are justified through our working hard. It does not say that we are justified through our efforts. The reason we are justified is through the redemption that is in Christ. Jesus. Therefore, in verse 23, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Surely we are sinners. In verse 23, it does not show the work of Jesus. But in verse 24, we were sinners. But Christ, He redeemed us from sin. When John the Baptist gave the baptism, Jesus received all our sins. And Jesus did not just toss those sins into the garbage. Before those sins, Jesus was crucified. He received the punishment. Therefore, by the grace of God, without any works of ours whatsoever, by the grace of God, there is no work for us to do whatsoever. Because the work of forgiving our sins, because our sins have been washed away completely through what Jesus Christ has done. Because the blood of Jesus has completely washed away all our sins, without any wage, without any effort, Without any works of ours, by grace, being justified freely by His grace, being justified freely by His grace. How amazing this is! 
모두 죄인이라 그럽니다. But many people they say that they're sinners. 한 번은 제가 태국에서 집회를 하는데. One time I was having a conference in Daegu. 대구 매일 기자가 찾아왔어요. The Daegu Daily newspaper reporter came to see me. 목사님 저하고 잠깐 상담 좀 해주시겠습니까? And the pastor, could you talk to me for a little bit? 아, 그렇습니다. I said sure. 목사님 교회하고 한국의 다른 교회가 차이가 있습니까? Pastor, is there a difference between your church and other churches in Korea? Can you tell me about that? He asked. 아, 제가 그걸 어떻게 한 마디로 이야기할 수 있겠습니까? And I said, well, you know, there is no short answer to that. 제가 좀 이야기해 달라고 했어요. But please tell me, he said. 그래서 선생님 기자 선생님은 교회 나가셨습니까? So I asked the Mr. Reporter, do you go to church? 한 번도 안 나갔다. He says, I've never been to church. 그럼 예수님이 우리 죄를 위해 죽었다는 이야기, 십자가에 못 박혀 죽었다는 이야기는 들었습니까? Well, have you heard that Jesus was crucified? 아, 예, 그야 알죠. Oh yeah, I heard about that. 그래서 왜 죽었습니까? Why was Jesus crucified? 우리 죄를 위해 죽었다며요. I heard he was crucified for our sins. 맞습니다. I told him you're right. 이야기했어요. I continued to speak. 저들 교회는 at our church. 예수 십자가에 못 박혀 죽으셨으므로 through Jesus being crucified. 우리 죄의 형벌을 모두 다 끝냈기 때문에 because he finished the punishment for all of our sins. 우리 죄가 다 씻어졌다고 이야기를 합니다. We say at our church that all of our sins have been washed away. 다른 교회 다 같은 건 아니지만 not every other church is like that, but 현재 한국에는 대부분의 교회는 however most churches in Korea today 예수 십자가에 못 박혀 죽으셨지만 they say that even though Jesus was crucified 우리는 죄인이라고 말합니다. They say that we are sinners. 그분이 깜짝 놀란 거예요. And he was shocked. 정말 다른 교회가 그렇게 말합니까? Is that what they really say at the other churches? I said, go ahead and ask them. I don't understand. If Jesus was crucified for our sins, how could we still be sinners? That's nonsense. Do they really say that? I told them, go ahead and ask them. So what do they believe? And I couldn't answer him. I think that day he went and did ask them. 그 신문의 종교 안에 and in that newspaper in the religion section. 광고 하나만 빼고 제 기사를 가득 채웠어. And he wrote a full page article about me. 너무 너무 이렇게 감사하더라고. And I was very very thankful. 그 기자님 딱 그럼 아 그러면 예수님 그럼 기자님 이건 믿습니까? And then that day I said to the reporter, Do you believe this? 나 믿는다 말할 수 없지만. He says, Well, I can't say I believe this, but. 예수 우리 죄를 위해 죽었다. 우리 죄가 없어진 게 사실이 아닙니까? But if Jesus died for our sins, then our sins should be gone, isn't it? 예수가 예수님 우리 죄를 위해 죽었다면이 아니고. It's not if Jesus died for our sins. He did die for our sins. And Mr. Reporter, he washed away your sins away too. Believing that is believing in Jesus. So the Old Testament, the sin offering, 그냥 우리에게 보여주는 게 아니고 That was not shown to us for no reason. 앞으로 예수 그리스도 어떻게 하실 것을 그림자로 보여주는 거예요. But it was shown to us as a foreshadow of what Jesus Christ would do for us. 그때 사람이 죄를 지으면 In sin offering when a person sins. 그냥 가지고 와서 He has to bring a lamb. 머리에 안수를 하고 And do the laying on of hands on the tent. 그 양을 잡아서 And kill the lamb. 그 피를 제단 뿔에 바르고 And put the blood on the horns of the altar. 그 다음에 그 기름은 다그 피는 다 밑에 쏟고 and pour out all the blood at the bottom of the altar. 기름 불 태우고 and burn up the fat. 제가 속해진 제사가 됩니다. And it becomes the offering to atone for sin. 그러면 우리 제가 사해지는 것입니다. Through it, your sins become forgiven. 근데 이제 예수님이 십자가에 못 박혀 죽은 구약 속죄 제사하고 다른 게 뭐냐면. But how is the death of Jesus different from the sin offering of the Old Testament? 예수님은 하나님의 어린 양이랍니다. But Jesus is the Lamb of God. 그래서 요한이 세례하는 예수님 보라 세상 죄를 지고하는 하나님의 어린 양이라. That's why John the Baptist said, "Be." Behold, the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. Jesus carried our sins. And through being crucified, what did he do? He finished the work of redeeming all our sins. Especially in Hebrews chapter 10. In chapter 10 verse 10, while Christ being come a high priest of good things to come. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building. Neither by the blood of goats and calves. But by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. 
He entered in once into the holy place. 구약 시대의 양이나 저 염소가 죽어 죄를 죄를 사하지만은 When they gave the sin offerings by killing lambs and goats, that was forgiven. 이땅에 제사 드리기 때 영원히 죄를 사하지 못했어. So they gave those offerings on earth, so it could not wash away their sins forever. 예수 이 땅에 피 흘리고 죽으셨지만, even though Jesus shed His blood on this earth and died, 구원한 그 죽으실 때그 피를 가지고, but with that blood from His death, 하늘의 영원한 성소에 들어가서, He entered into the eternal temple in heaven. 피를 뿌렸다고. And there He sprinkled His blood. 이분이 구장 십 일절에 이야기합니다. That's what it tells us in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 11. 그래서 장래 좋은 일에 대제사장 오사. But Christ being come and high priest of good things to come. 손으로 짓지 않은 이 창조 속까지 더 온전한 장막이란 것은. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building. 이 땅에 있는 성소가 아닌 하늘 나라 성소, 영원한 성소. This is not referring to the holy place on earth, but the holy place in heaven, the eternal one. 이 땅은 시간 계기 때 죄를 사도 시간적으로만 사해지는데. The earth is in the realm of time, so even though you give the offering, it only washes away your sins temporarily. But Jesus took his blood and went to the temple in heaven, and through obtaining redemption there, 영원한 속죄를 받다. It says he obtained eternal redemption for us. 그래서 소를 잡아 제사 염소 잡아 제사 드린 것은. That's why killing lambs and goats in the Old Testament to give sin offerings. 앞으로 하나님 어린 양대 예수님이 오셔서 우리 죄를 위하여 못 받게 죽으실. 뭐로 우리 죄를 살 그거를 가르켜 말하는. This is to represent Jesus Christ who will come and be crucified to redeem our sins forever. 그 그의 피를 제단 뿔에다가 바를 때 죄가 사해집니다. And afterwards when the when the blood is put upon the horns of the altars your sin is forgiven. 아, 왜 제단 뿔에다 피를 칠하지? Why do they put the blood on the horns of the altars? 그것도 잘 몰랐어요. I also didn't know about that. 성경에 딱 짝이 나왔습니다. But in the Bible there's the mates. 예레미야 17장 11절에 보면 In Jeremiah 17 verse 1. 유다의 죄는 금강석 그 철필로 The sin of Judah is written with the pen of iron, with the point of a diamond. 그들의 마음판과 단뿔에 새겨졌거든. It is graven upon the table of their heart and upon the horns of your altars. 그래서 이제 그 제단 뿔에다가 하는 죄를 기록해 놓고. The sins are recorded on the horns of the altars. 우리 마음판에 죄를 기록합니다. That's where God records the sins, and we record our sins on the table of our hearts. 제단 뿔에 기록한 하나님 기록한 그 죄는. The sins recorded by God on the horns of the altars. 어린 양이 우리 죄를 위해 죽으면서 씻어져 제단. Are wiped clean through the blood of the Lamb that died for your sin. 우리 마음판에 기록된 죄의 기록은. And the record of sin written on the table of our hearts. 정말 예수 십자가의 피로 믿음으로 죄 사하셨다는 믿음으로 내 마음에 죄가 씻어지는 것입니다. Is washed away through faith that the blood of Jesus at the cross has forgiven your sins. 내가 전에는 죄인이라고 했는데. Before I said I was a sinner. 아 예수 십자에 못박내 죄를 대신에 주어졌구나. Ah, through Jesus dying on the cross, He took my place. 아 그럼 내 죄가 씻어졌네. Then my sins are washed away. 이렇게 믿는 믿음으로 죄 사함을 받는 것이. With the faith to believe that, you receive the forgiveness of sins. 여러분 이런 성경 읽어 보면. When I read these kinds of scriptures. 얼마나 정확하게 하는 말씀했는지 모릅니다. God has spoken these things to us so precisely. 대부분 사람들은 성경을 잘 모르고 한쪽만 보고 이해를 못할 때 잘못 해석하는 경우가 많은데. But oftentimes many people see the Bible only one-sided. 성경 짝을 딱딱 맞춰 너무 놀랍게. But when we find the matches of the scriptures one by one, it tells us so clearly our sins are all washed away. 여러분 예수님의 피로 by the blood of Jesus. 대제가 사해졌다는 걸 믿는 게 예수를 믿는 겁니다. Believing that your sins have been forgiven, that's what it means to believe in Jesus. 다음 시간 계속 말씀드리겠습니다. We'll continue to speak about this next time. 감사합니다. Thank you. 안녕히 계십시오. Please take care. Be there where grace abounds more. Pastor Oksu Park's lectures on the Gospel of Mark will continue every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Right here on CTN. For spiritual counseling, visit us at gnmusa.org. Call 1-888-466-9846 for more information.